and liftoff of PRS-28. Go Falcon, go Dragon. Liftoff of about 7,000 pounds of science and cargo, including a new pair of solar arrays to boost power on the space station. Plus 40 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from historic launch oh, complex 39A in Florida. And we're now coming up on max Q in about 20 seconds from now. And this is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will go through during its flight. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, traveling faster than the speed of sound. There you heard the call out for Max Q. Coming up next are three events back to back, the first of which is main engine cutoff or MECO. And this is when all nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. After You're looking at the down, SpaceX the Falcon 9 rocket launching from uh, Florida's uh, internet, um, uh, excuse me, going to Kennedy Space Center in Florida to the International Space Station. Um, this is carrying about 2,700 pounds of hardware, provisions, scientific experiments, including two new rollout solar arrays to upgrade uh, the lab's power system at the International Space Station. So carrying a ton of stuff. Uh, Bloomberg's Chester Dawson uh, joins us now. Uh, Chester, the significance of this mission, this is the 20th. 28th supply run here. Yes, it's the 28th um, commercial cargo mission, um, but it's the 39th um, flight for SpaceX this year. So it shows you that's more than one a week and, and just how routine these things have become. We just witnessed a picture perfect liftoff, and that's pretty much par for the course these days. Chester, talk to us about some of that equipment that it's carrying on board then, the importance for the International Space Station. Is this, in terms of the resupply, is this very, is this a regular part of, uh, of the resupply mission, the kind of kit that it's carrying? Or is there anything that stands out to you that's slightly different this time? Yeah, it's, it's um, as far as we know, a fairly standard. Uh, it would include things like, uh, as was noted, ex some scientific experiments, um, food, um, and other supplies that are needed to, to keep the uh, astronauts there well provisioned um, during their, their stay. Um, but it also shows you how critical SpaceX has become to, you know, keeping that going. And, um, and also, you know, for SpaceX, it's become a great gig for them to, um, you know, uh, support their the commercial side of their business as they, you know, continue with um, next generation um, technology like Starship, the launch, test launch of which we saw um, a few weeks ago. Um, after this, what are we going to be looking for in terms of coming back into the atmosphere, relanding? I mean, 39 just so far, this that's an incredible number. Like, when do we say that SpaceX is just, is just firing on all cylinders? I, I hate that I just said that, but true. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this was pre pre pretty much the, um, the the plan that Elon Musk had laid out uh, for, you know, the, the program in its earliest years, and it's really come to full fruition. Um, it's remarkable. This, this um, particular Dragon spacecraft has... Uh, flown three other flights. This is the fourth um, on, on these this re re reusable technology. Um, and this mission, it'll it'll be about 18 hours before it actually docks with the space station, um, the, uh, uh, the the capsule that is. But the uh, uh, you know as we know, um, the uh, the Falcon 9 will land on a, a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, not too long from now, and and that too can be uh, you know repurposed for its next flight. So it really is this um, you know kind of sustainable cycle that's allowed them to cut their costs quite dramatically.